Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, my name's Tetra Ninja, we once again playing some Beyond Two Souls. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last session of the game. I'm almost positive we're near the end of it based on what I've seen and heard online. So yeah, hopefully you guys can enjoy the finale, and hopefully this loading screen doesn't take absolutely forever. Hauntings. A la spooky. Good night, princess. Is Nathan okay? When will I see him again? Oh, I don't know, honey. He hasn't left his office in three days. He loved his wife and daughter more than anything in the world. But we can try again tomorrow, okay? Get some sleep. Gonna toss and turn all night. Holy shit. Fuck. Uh what the hell's going on? <laughs> I don't want to walk over there. Don't make me do it. Uh, why am I doing this to myself? Can't we just send Aiden? Dear Jesus, kill it with fire. <laughs> well, I guess it's already dead. Kill it again with fire. doing here it's late go back to bed oh we're gonna transfer memory aren't we Oh dear Jesus. Don't be sad, Daddy. What did you say? It was so quick. Mommy couldn't do anything. But it didn't hurt. Stop it, Jody. It didn't hurt at all. You hear me? Stop it right now. We are here, Nathan. We're right by your side. Helen. Laura. We love you, darling. We'll always love you. Talk to me again. Jody. Make them come back. Make them come back again! I can't. They've gone. Please. <laughs> and... Don't leave me. Don't leave me. That is the most messed up shit ever. Serious. So much.
short chapter, but pretty intense. Moving on to Black Sun. The active condenser in the Republic of Kazakhstan has been destroyed and the rift is now inaccessible. We are now the only nation with access to the infoworld. Hurrah! This situation opens up new strategic and military perspectives. Now we're going to launch new programs to discover possible energy resources and develop military applications. We've already found ways of linking entities to human soldiers, and this is just the beginning. Now, this is more important than the race to space for developing nuclear capability. We have discovered a new world. A world for us to conquer. <coughs> this is the beginning of a new era for our nation. Talk about playing with fire. Dumbass. Pentagon Yo. top brass getting you down? Ugh. Big boys and their new toys. I preferred to leave before barfing all over their carpet. We played our part in all of this. They told us we were doing the right thing. But all we did was allow the Pentagon alone to control the infra-world. So what are you gonna do now? Leave. Go somewhere far away and just try and lead a normal life. <laughs> and what about you? The CIA has it all mapped out for me. Top tier, big car, golf meetings. I, mean, I haven't given him an answer yet, but it's worth considering. Let's sell out. Jody, I... I know it's been complicated between us. Okay, I, I didn't always do the right thing. But maybe we could start again. You know, try and build something together. I mean, after... All the stuff we've been through, maybe we could make it work. Sorry, dude. You lied to me. I could never trust you again. I'm sorry, Ray. I understand. Whatever you do, just remember I'll always be there for you. Ah, there you are. Nathan's looking for you. Come on, I'll take you to his office. Later, Ryan. Oh, you know what? I got a single malt in my office that needs sharing. Meet you in a few? No, I, I don't think I can. Come on. Don't make me drink it alone. Waste of a good bottle? I'll tell you what, I'll find you, okay? <laughs> this way, Jody. Maybe I should let Aiden decide. Oh well. I'm a big girl now. Some decisions are hard to make, huh, Jody? Don't speak. I just hope I make the right one. Just do what your heart tells you. And you know you made the right decision. Man, that's the condenser. Thing's gonna eat the world. Why do I feel like Nathan is in playing us this entire time? Alright, here we are. Call me when you're done, I'll come pick you up. Okay. 
Whatever Nathan says, be careful. Yep. Definitely playing us. Jody, oh, I'm so glad to see you safe. I kept my part of the bargain. Now it's the CIA's turn. As far as the CIA is concerned, you no longer exist. Elizabeth North. No identity and no life. Oh. Five hundred thousand dollars. For services rendered. That should help make a new start. Thanks. Who would refuse? Before you go, <sighs> there's one last thing I'd like to ask. When my wife and daughter disappeared in that accident 15 years ago, wanted to die too. I cried a lot. Banging my head against the wall trying to figure out why, why. Why them? Never being able to hold them again. It was like a wound that wouldn't heal. But then you came along. And I realized they were still here all the time, near me. I just couldn't see. What did you make? The government gave me everything I needed to study the infra-world. They were interested in military applications. I was interested in seeing my family again. It's taken me some years. I finally succeeded in creating this. Hello, my darlings. Helen. Laura. I miss you so much. They don't look happy, man. I come to see them every day. Soon we'll be together. I'm working on a modified condenser that can communicate with souls of the infant world. Speaking with the dead, Jody. Can you imagine? What do you want from me? I want you to help me talk to them. I hear their voices. I want to tell them what I'm doing. Until I finish my research, you're the only one that can do it. Why not? Give me your hands. You're gonna go crazy at us if we don't. Keep that go cuckoo bananas on us. 